absurd seems completely sane. And this is why you don't hold too many positions. See, do I need this? Do I need to be up at 6.30 in the morning wondering, oh, I wonder what my futures contracts? Well, good thing, um, I don't know what it is about this 8.15, 8.20, and I know I'm probably admitting that I don't know something. Ooh. What goes on at 8.15 or 8.20 around the world? Because this is the second time in a week that around 8.15, the NQ futures broke VWAP and start to reverse. And you know how I love a VWAP reversal. So, you know, now you do understand making predictions. Every time I do a prediction, I say, I have no idea. I'll just do whatever the market tells me. Wow, that was quick. Uh, that 108.12 on the Qs, oh, 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 doesn't look like that's going to be the lows of the year, does it now? Oh. Uh, so once the market started reversing the NQ futures, I had to short a couple of contracts. And I tell you, as soon as I put the trade on, I was like, great, here goes another hedge that I'm going to wind up losing money on. I don't know if you can see that chart, but... Way up in the corner there is where the VWAP got broke. Oh, hey, how you doing? Little rally, see how it failed to get back over to that other VWAP. Oh, Jesus Christ, oh God. Luckily, this happened while I was asleep because I probably would have covered it like a little bitch like I normally do. But considering I have a position on already, I had to leave the futures contract on as my hedge. So, uh... Okay, uh, uh, so it's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. Uh, we'll all be fine. As long as you don't buy any Fitbit stock. Oh, man. Did I tell you the video? Did we, did we talk about the video where I talked about how Fitbit will be my number one short of 2016? The idea is to short the stock, buy some calls just in case you're wrong, and uh, watch the stock plummet down 40%. I don't know what happened yesterday. What happened? Their new product, nobody gives a shit about, like their original product, which of in six months, nobody will give a shit about either. We don't need any iPhones, right? So it's the same story, right? We don't need anything again, right? We don't need commodities. We don't need phones. We don't need search. We don't need Amazon. But if we don't need Amazon, that's the scary part. Because if we don't need Amazon, then the market can crash because, hey, it's the only stock that's been holding us up, right? Oh, yeah. All right, um, email me. It's a, probably be a fun day to hang out. I've been up for, I don't know, 36 straight hours. Awesome, awesome. So I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to be buying at the open, but usually when you have the market gapping down this much, you have one more flush right at the open, and then we bounce, hopefully. If not... Now the queues are back below 108.12. There's 107.50 if that doesn't hold. We got 106.80 area. And then, yeah, think about it. Dare I say 104.50? Think about it. Think about that. So, yeah, it's only three more points from here. So, 104.50. If 104.50 doesn't hold, then we might go to 100. And then at 100 on the queues, you got to be thinking August lows. Ooh, 94, maybe 84 flash crash levels. Oh my God. What are we going to do? Oh, but. But I just bought all these hoverboards and, and phones and watches. I thought the oil going down would give a economic boost to the world's economy because we'd have more money to spend because our gas was cheap. How's your economic model looking now? Oh, nothing makes sense. It's never gonna make sense. Just do the VWAP 
reversals. Mom, mom, yeah.